Dads of Erie. The Frights, Jay and RJ. Episode 31. So 3 1, man. Turn that up. Turn that bass up. Oh, turn the bass up. All right, hold on. Here's the bass. Ready? Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, man. Bumping. Thugging out the minivan. Hey, we're in our 30s now. Yeah, we are. We're in our 30s. Episode 31. Woo woo. Woo woo. Man, welcome. All those who are joining on Instagram Live. Instagram Live. Welcome. Oh, so good to have yeah, you. One, one person, I think. Hey, Kendra is our loyal fan. That's right. She's up late. She's up Congratulations, late. Congratulations, Kendra. Congratulations on uh, the new arrival. The new arrival. Bam. Mom of Erie, hashtag. Mom of Erie now. Hashtag. The best shirt I've ever seen, no, the best hat I've ever seen in an airport was a mom wearing a hat, thing that said hashtag mom life as on a trucker hat. That's awesome. And I was like, she that's cool. That, yeah. yeah. It's pretty good, legit. She's rocking that. You remember that word through the back? Legit. Legit. Hey, we had so much fun last episode. We did with all of your brothers. Well, almost, almost all of one. Your, minus one. All of your, almost all of your brother-in-laws. Minus one. Yes, we have uh, a blast hanging out with Jake, Tim, John and David. John David. Wow, man. We had the whole crew Yep, down here in the basement. Hey, by the way, I just found out that John David is going to go to law school. Woo-woo. Congratulations, John David. That sounds not fun. Yeah, it sounds tough. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, hey. like, sounds like an interesting life choice. <laughs> now we got uh, legal aid when it comes to oh, yeah, Dads of Erie. Call, call him up. Call him up. Man, uh... It is voting season in Erie. Man, friend. it is intense <laughs> voting season in Erie right now. <laughs> it just got awkward tonight. A little bit, season. yeah, a little bit. Uh, hopefully you guys have voted. If you haven't yet, make sure you do. Ballots went out, I don't know, last week or last week before week. even, Last maybe? week. Last uh, week. Make sure you're well-informed. Make sure you're well-informed. Read up on uh, all the people and don't yeah. just go by signs because if, if you go by signs, you think there's like 80 people run, you know, <laughs> running because I swear every day I see a new one, I'm like, who's that? Yep. But- we got 3A on the ballot as well. Yeah, 3A, expansion of uh, the old town hall and the old original school building. And 3B, 3B, which is a funny one. It's like a single lot in Northridge neighborhood that the town owns and they want to sell. Yep. So, I don't know. The most helpful thing that I've seen in this election cycle was from the yellow scene, by Did the way. they have a good like, voter's guide? They had a voter's guide. Maybe, you never know, right? Yeah. Maybe partial, maybe not. Yeah. I'm not going to make that judge. But they had a town map, which I thought was very interesting, oh. a very up-to-date town map. Cool. So go check that out. Yeah, well, yeah. it's got and came in all of our mailboxes. Mailboxes, yeah. But, yeah, um, it's interesting. I think the observation is two things from this voting season. Yes. I mean, we're approaching we lot, this very lot, delicate. We, yeah, we don't want to be political here. But. Yeah, we're not. We're dads of Erie, okay? John David's on John right David, now. what's what up, up, buddy? Um, we... Uh, we do sit between Well County and Boulder County. We're a split city. Yep. Which has this uniquenesses. It does. Yeah. And challenges. Uh-huh. Has this great benefits as well. As well, yeah. Yep. Just today we drove into Boulder to uh, McGuckin's, which is awesome. Yep. I forget how good that place is, that by Mc- the way. McGuckin's is amazing. If you can't find it at McGuckin's, it doesn't exist, <laughs> is what I've learned over life. You know what it's, what it is is Ace True Value is my favorite stores are my favorite stores true they're and they, super i didn't realize helpful. they got bought out i yeah. didn't because mcguckins used to be their own deal but i guess they got bought ace out by now. ace now yeah well, that's cool but uh mcguckins is an awesome place we got some bird anyways that and then there seems to be a lot of anger on facebook about this political season i think there's a lot of facebook anger no matter what it is <laughs> anymore <laughs> is what i've noticed it's just like come on it's like just, you, yeah if you if you're gonna say something on Facebook, use this as a filter. This is my filter, okay? Your grandma is sitting next to you, a dear old saint of a grandma, yep. and you say something out loud. Would you be proud to say in front of that dear old saint grandma? That's a good. That's a good filter. That's I, my filter. I also think of the filter as like, would I say it to someone's face in well, person? Well, yeah. Would I argue that point to somebody? In person. Totally. Because that's what it turns into is an argument. Here, Here's the bottom line. I love Erie, Colorado. Me too. So let us get done with this and move on. Yep. And no bitterness, no nastiness. Let's stop the, the gross vandalism and all this other stuff that's been going on. It's, it's, it's see each other at Old Mine, the dugout, 
the library. Let's be homies. Yeah. Let's, let's go homies. play pickleball at the yeah. Rexham. Yeah, let's do it. Seriously. Pickleball. pickleball. Okay. Anyways, I went to Ziggy's for the first time. You did? Yeah. Ziggy's is open. Where is it at now? It's, uh, what is it, Highway 7 and, like, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. Vista, Vista Ridge-ish. Fish is Ridge-ish. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. I don't know what street that is. Right. I think it's Vista Point, actually. No, Vista Point's the neighborhood down off County Line. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Um, anyways, it took in the old har- uh, Great Harvest Great Bread Harvest Company, Bread, Bread Company. Spot. Yep. So it's in one of those shopping centers right there. By the There's a liquor store right there, which I've never been to that liquor store. Yeah, I've never really been in that one either. I've been to the dry cleaners. That dry cleaners is awesome. Are they good? Yeah, they're yeah. De- decently priced too. I have a tuxedo I need dry cleaned. Yeah, which is funny because you wore that at... Oh, I own two tuxedos. Daddy Did daughter. Do you know this? I own two tuxedos. Two tuxedos. Here's here's some data. I don't even know one. Here's some data advice because you have a son and so do I. We need to remember this in about what, fourteen years, thirteen, twelve years, whatever. I can't do math. We should go buy tuxedos when they start going to prom and dances and stuff because you pay about the same to buy one as you do to rent it once. Okay. And that tuxedo has come in handy more than once. The problem is you can't gain any weight or get taller in that tuxedo. That's true. Which I was impressed you had it on. I didn't really button. But, you know, <laughs> that's, that's a separate issue. Okay, so here's the here's the scoop on Ziggy's. Okay, give me the scoop on Ziggy's. The Great Harvest Bread Company people coffee. bought a franchise of Ziggy's okay. and put it in there. So there's actually still Great Harvest Bread there. Interesting. But now it's a Ziggy's. Okay. And it's a great... There's great spots. Like... Um, I'm excited about this one. I bet you are because you're a coffee kind of guy. You know, the thing is like, yeah, finally a coffee shop that's not all wood that doesn't sit at 98 degrees if you sit inside of it. True. Yeah. Like, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Give me a modern coffee shop. I'm good. But you know what happened, though? We still love our- Java Island had to step their game up. Yeah. This is great. This is Competition's good. Competition good. Free market. Free market society, right? Yeah. Um, because Java Island now serves dugout burritos. That is genius. That is awesome. That is really genius. Yeah, if you loo- guys haven't tried dugout burritos, you're losing out. Yeah, you're you've lost. Let's put it that way. Yep. Jeep Lou, I hear you're having an awesome spring break. About they're gonna rent a U-Haul, yeah. not, not a U-Haul, our RV. Like, U-Haul. Gary, this is Gary. Yeah, Gary's renting our RV and going to all the different springs. Is hot springs. Of Colorado. That's a, a really good idea, actually. Yeah. How fun is that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for that trip because I want to learn what the best hot spring is. Maybe we should have him in. We should after the fact. Yeah, we're going to have Gary in We're going to have Gary back. Remember Gary came to talk to us about sports. The yeah, episode was yeah. called Sports. Sports. We will have Gary back talk about hot springs. Hot we'll springs. call it hot springs. <laughs> I'm already naming the episode. <laughs> Great. Anyways. What's wrong with Hot Springs is the episode name? No, it, it needs to be something a little saucier than Hot Springs. Like garage sailing, but like it's sailing, like sailing on the ocean. <laughs> did you catch that one when I did that? I did. Hot <laughs> Springs Break. Hot Springs Fo- Break. Boom. You, and you were going to follow the Hot Springs Break. Hot trip. Springs Break. That's right. You know, they're going to, it's Colorado or a bus at this point. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, Java Island. I love Java, Java Island a lot, so I'm not going to complain. One's a drive through one's a place to go sit down. They're two different things. Right. You know, they're both coffee joints. What's uh, What would you say is your fresh find these days around Erie? My fresh find around Erie, man? Yeah. <sighs> Come on. I need a fresh find. We I haven't done this segment in a while. man. What? It's been a while. Dude, you haven't been looking for a fresh find? It's, uh, I haven't been thinking about it, I guess. Wow. What kind of dad are you? I guess it's not a very good one. I don't yeah. I'm a bad one now. No. Because I don't, don't have a fresh find for you, who's not my child. That's true. See? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Mine is uh, the soda selection now at Old Mine. They have a soda selection now? Oh, uh, I blew your mind, didn't I? Wow. Because it used soda. to be they had like Mexican Coke and that was it. Oh, totally. That was it. Now they have Oscar Blue's sodas. Oscar Blue's root beer is pretty good. Well, okay. They have that, but they have like cherry there was oh. orange there was a cream soda and there was ginger Ooh, i'm, I'm telling really you man like ginger, but ooh, i'm telling you this is a new fresh find for us it's a good fresh find um if you know if you're not a al- 
alcoholic. <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> Someone who <laughs> partakes in alcoholic beverages. Yes, let's put it that way. Okay, or an adult. That's or an adult. Or you're not 21 yet. Yeah. And if you're not 21, now yet. you have options. Now you have a great barbecue <laughs> pizza and a soda and a good soda. There you How go. How awesome is that? It is pretty awesome. And then, did you see what Sweets is doing with their ice cream? No. What are they doing? Little Man now makes their ice cream. Oh, instead of a uh, glacier. Yeah. Cool. How cool is that? Uh-huh. We got we got two new fresh finds for you this spring already. All hot off the press. Hot off the press. Episode Little thirty one, I- people. We dropped it on. Yeah. You. Little Man ice cream. Have you had Little Man ice cream before? I have been to Little Man. Ooh. And what do you think? It's pretty good. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, you know how I am. Vanilla? Yeah, or cookie dough. Vanilla like pretty I'm pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um we also went on a date recently, not us, but our significant we went, others. We went, we went on a yeah, double, double date. Double date. Yeah. To say that. Yes. We went on a double date recently. And uh we went to twenty four carat. This we, is our date. Yeah, this is definitely this is how we date. This is definitely our date. Yeah. Um but we went to twenty four carat recently and what'd you get off the menu? Because you know, they're seasonal there. What did I get? I got the what was it the tenderloin the beef tenderloin. What'd you think? It was really good. Yeah, had like a nice mushroom risotto rice underneath. Ooh. Some nice steak. Ooh, I had the brick chicken finally. What did you think the, of that? Well, here's the thing: the brick chicken is always on the menu. And I feel the, like the tenderloin is too, but it changes what comes with yeah, it. Yeah, by season. Yeah, so there's a brick chicken. I think that that is that's what tells you it's really cool and fresh is because things change around there because it's not like. Oh, yeah, here's this thing that's really out of season because it's always here or whatever. Yep. And so the burger's always there, the brick chicken, and the steak's always there. Yeah. But the brick chicken was my first time, and it was delightful. It looked really good. I'm not a chicken guy. Like, tonight, I messed up chicken on the grill. Chicken on the grill's hard. You know what saved me on that? What's that? A $8 thermometer from Amazon. Well, yeah, you have to get to the 120. Instant re- yeah, you, no, you got to get to 100 and, yeah, you get, well, it's like 100. I don't remember. I have to Google it every time. It's 120. Is it 120? Every time I go and test it, and it's perfect. I don't have a good uh, grilled chicken recipe yet. Really? Did yeah. you like the ones we had the other night here? Yeah, it was great. That was just like balsamic vinegar and and like. I knew you had a secret sauce. I I, I could tell the yeah. balsamic vinegar. Now. You know what I've been doing too for work to take lunches is just buffalo chicken. I just been doing like Frank's yeah. Red Hot and dumping it on it, dumping it on there. And, yeah, I wish, like, I tried this Italian rub tonight, and it did not work. Really? Like, my wife was, like, scraping the seasoning Ooh. off before she ate the chicken, and, and that's, that's a big fail. That's what my dad one time did that with the steak seasoning, the Montreal steak seasoning. Yeah. Way too much. It was like, <laughs> oh, oh, like so yeah. much salt and pepper. You're just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Way too much. Way too much steak seasoning. You know, maybe maybe this is a, uh, a good point to ask for feedback from instagram we need a good you know who was really good at now that he's here no i've seen him do barbecue chicken before it's good he gary does one thing with barbecue chicken he puts the chicken on he puts the barbecue sauce and flips it and that's all he does that works no that that works that work that is like poor man's barbecue chicken that's okay (laughs) what's wrong with poor man people that's what you making fun of you now you're no. playing economics now? No, I'm not. Yeah. And it's I'll like how you are. it's like the cheapest barbecue sauce too. It's not even like It's fancy like Casey barbecue. Masterpiece. Oh my god. It's goodness. the good stuff. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. You gonna you're gonna down talk the Mona Lisa next? <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna down talk the Mona Lisa because it's not because it's a masterpiece? I'm just saying, it's just an interesting way to do barbecue chicken. Oh, is it? It's not interesting, it's the way to do barbecue chicken. Oh man. Anyways, I can't say that much because I have not perfected my barbecue chicken or yeah. chicken in general on the grill. Now, I will say that chicken thighs are way better than chicken breasts. See, this is the point here, too. What's that? Gary is up in here. He's saying when you got to make for 75, <laughs> it's pretty good. And it's true. It's true. Okay, I will give you that. If you're mass quantity, like McDonald's, dump the Which, KFC I'm going to tell their story for them anyways. So okay, let's GP Lou and, and Gary here. If you're not on Instagram and you're getting really confused, you're really con- I'm sorry, but you're going to, you're going to find the story funny. So we worked at the summer camp all together. Okay. My mom used to plan the menu and we would do spaghetti and meatballs every week. And so, I don't know if it was because you're working all day. You're out, you're out in the sun. You're right. doing summer camp stuff. Those meatballs were amazing. You're right. 
So Gary came home and was like, we need these meatballs. We need to figure out the recipe. And apparently she tried every single recipe of meatballs she could find. And finally she asked my mom what her meatballs were. And she was like, I don't know, whatever Sam's Club has. Oh, the frozen my meatballs. goodness. <laughs> like like she course. went through all this stuff trying to find the perfect meatball. Yep. Oh, the meatball. See? Yeah. Totally. Oh, man. Cause it's, but it was. And then now I have them. I'm like, yeah, Because I ate them all summer for like eight summers in a row. <laughs> Every once a week, every week. That's why I refuse to eat ramen noodles because I ate a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same type of concept. Yeah. The thing was barbecue chicken or chicken and ginger on the grill is just hard. It's true. (laughs) She says, I've never felt so defeated in my life about the meatballs. (laughs) That's true. I I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You're trying so hard to find the perfect meatball and all it is is frozen meatballs. And Gary still loves those meatballs, he says. (laughs) They still buy the meatballs. Yeah. Yeah, it's just interesting how chicken is the hardest meat on the grill. It is because it's it, chicken's tends towards dryness anyways. Yeah. And so if you go even a little bit too long, it's done. That's what chicken thighs save you because the fat, the fat kind helps of helps you. It helps it, yeah. Yeah, helps save the chicken. That's why, yeah, that's why fried chicken's really the best because you're just filling it with oil. <laughs> As, yeah, you're pulling the, as you're pulling the water out, you're putting in oil. That's all you're doing with fried chicken. And we know we love Chick-fil-A chicken. Oh, man. Man. With pickles on it. Yeah. Speaking of pickles, my mom sent me a jar of her homemade pickles to she me. She makes pickles? She makes she cans pickles. My mom cans pickles. Wow. Bread and butter what pickles. Was this, the 1800s? Seriously. I, I'm not <laughs> complaining because I called her this week and I said, I had two questions. I said, when are you going to send me another jar of pickles? And then <laughs> I had a real another serious question. <laughs> I love with that. So can I, ha- can, I eat with the- can I eat these right now? Cause can you send me more? Yeah, totally. Yeah. What's Jeep Lou saying? I don't know. He also prefers the break, break and, and bake break. cookies. You know, Gary's a simple man. He I, is I, a man. I, he's a man after my own heart. <laughs> He loves in and out too. He does love in and out. That's why he's a man of his own heart. We're talking about doing a work trip to Vegas. And the first thing he says, going to Vegas, is, we'll get to eat in and out. That's true. I, like, I realized okay. that too because we're talking about a trip down to Texas to visit my grandparents that lived down there. And I'm like, wait, there's in and out. In and out. It's, there you go. Yeah. He is a simple man. What's you, you, is that your sports? You know, youth sports. Wow, That's the next segment we have terrible. to talk about. No, I can read that perfectly. Yeah, but I don't know if people know this. Have we have we made the announcement that you're officially a soccer coach now? Oh, drum roll, please. Oh, drum roll. And now, Coach J. <sighs> yes, I am coaching U5, under five. Under five soccer. Man, kicking and screaming movie is my inspiration is for this. inspiration now? You're watching totally. that one to go over it? You know, we have track suits, so I'm wearing my track suit. Oh, I'm wearing my track suit, too. I'm assistant, right? Yeah, you need to do a backhand track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. I'll send you a link. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, it's going to be a blast. Our our oldest Oldest kiddos, is oldest. Yeah, yeah our two old, my are oldest. Are playing on the same team. And, and a bunch of our friends' oldest, too. Yeah, and here's the thing. It's Erie Rec Sports are great at the simplicity of this like getting your kid out there having fun and going home because this isn't like half an hour practice and then a half an hour game basically oh yeah it's a scrimmage it's not even a game yeah yeah, and there's no out of bounds so once the ball rolls out the (laughs) dads just pick it up just keep going (laughs) they roll stay out of the street kids they throw it back in it's a loose don't go on county line just bring it back (laughs) it's a it's a it's a free flowing game wow you know, it's mob ball at this age anyway, right? Yeah, like, it's, Well, half the time they're going to forget which goal they're supposed to be kicking to. <laughs> or out there wait. picking dandelions. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Yeah. Um, speaking of that, did you know that Erie PD does fingerprinting for those who need to do, like, fingerprinting for child care workers or for... Uh, right. Most police all- departments do, yes. It was so friendly. Well, I'm sure. It's probably their little records later or whatever, right? Man, it was phenomenal. In fact, we got in, and of course, we got stickers for the kids. They were with us. Little badge stickers. Badge stickers. Yeah. We got a pencils, erasers, and coloring workbooks that were Erie branded. Wow. I was like, Erie wow. PD got some money. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's a nice building, by the way. And I'm those thankful. Speed, those speeding tickets are paying off. No, that's a nice building. <laughs> Let's is. just say it. it is. I'm thankful we support our Erie PD. It and took two tries to get that thing, by the way. Man, I'm I'm glad we have it now. Yep. 
But yeah, it was this great friendly atmosphere, and Good. that's what you want when your kids go to the police station. See that they're their friends. Seeing their friends. Yeah. I told you about the fire department, right? They'll like show up to birthday parties if they're not doing anything. Really? Yeah. Did I tell you that? No. We went to a birthday party at the library, and the mom emailed the fire department, and like their person got back to him and said, "Yeah, if we're not we're not on a call or anything, we'll stop by and say hi." And it was like a firefighter birthday party at the rec center. Oh my goodness! Because the front, did you know the front room of the rec center is like it's free to borrow, free to use for like birthday parties and stuff. I heard it costs money. No, I think it's free. Wow. Yeah. So it's free to reserve or whatever. Man, and you can email the fire department and have a fire firefighter birthday party. I like our firefighters. I work out with them at the rec center, and they are friendly guys. They don't have a gym at their their house. At their house? Well, they come to the rec center. Yeah. And I appreciate that. In case you have a heart attack, they can fix you right hey, there. I'll go a little harder knowing that the firefighter's in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, bring in some oxygen for yeah, me, man. Yeah. If I go down, you got me You right got me, here. bro, right? I don't have to call 911. You're right there. <laughs> <laughs> no delay in care. Turn in this elliptical up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Nice. Okay, I think we've digressed enough think in episode have. 31. It's, it's close us out. Let's hey, close it out. Let us know what you're doing for the spring. Hey, and let us know if you got a chicken recipe. Because Jay needs it. Dadzaviri at gmail.com. Don't forget, Instagram. We're Instagram live. Dadzaviri. We That's Instagram live when we record, and there's no guarantee when that might be. Could be in the middle of the night or 9 o'clock at night. Thanks for listening. Peace.